for the son of Gemini. Hello, welcome to my channel. So, Gemini, recent past energy between you and your person, three of pentacles, and it's with the six of swords. Now, the three of pentacles is actually a really positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work or career questions. It's a good overall card. It means that you're doing well, the three of pentacles. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not getting paid. So, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing, because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Now, it's with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, it's, um, it's about some type of metaphorical movement. Maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery would be helpful. So, basically, Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person. What I'm getting, Gemini, is that you and your person, you, you had come out of some type of storm, maybe a big fight, maybe a big disagreement, some kind of storm. Because if you look at the Six of Swords, it's a card below the word pass. Um, these, pe these two people on a boat, they just got out of raging waters. Yeah, a big huge storm they just left behind. And now the waters are calm and still. So they're moving into calmer waters, and that's you and your person. For some of you, you realize that it would be beneficial for you to um, be at peace versus being at war. And I say this because of Three of Pentacles, the card above the word pass, it's about, it's about benefits. Like this man, he's showing these two people that are at his feet, he's showing them what he does or what he's doing, and they're impressed. They're like, wow, you know, amazed at what he's doing or what he has shown, shown them. So... For some of you, I'm also getting that you um you you came out of a storm with your person, and you're uh, into um, better days. You're at peace now, and now your person is trying to maybe off make you maybe offer you something, and trying to get you to come over to their side or to um, try to impress you with something maybe yeah now that you two are at peace so I'm getting those two storylines for you and your person so some of you like I said come out of a storm with your person now they're trying to persuade you or to offer you something yeah don't know what it is but yeah, they could be trying to convince you to do something with them or trying to impress you. And then for others, like I said, you're, you're out of the storm finally with your person. And um, you realize that it's much more beneficial for the both of you. Because, like I said, it's with the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, it basically means there's some benefits. So, yeah. That's a recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. 
Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. And it's with the lovers. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. And it's paired with the lovers. Now, the lovers is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the twin, so it's possible when this card appears that you could be feeling ambivalent about a relationship or maybe a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you can, it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get a lover's card. Because it's a time when love would be brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this could be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. So coming up, Gemini, Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the lovers. So yeah, this is great. Yeah, so like I said, you come out of a storm, maybe a big fight or a big disagreement or some type of some type of disaster you guys are, some for some of you you just got got out of and your partner's trying to talk you into maybe um doing something i don't know what it is or they're just trying to offer you something and coming up it looks like things will be going really good for the two of you they'll be going better than you thought possible because you got the nine of pentacles now, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading, but you got the Nine, so you're just short of one for having it all. And that's not bad. Nine of Pentacles is pretty darn good. Like I said, with this card, things will be going better than you thought ever possible. You could start to feel like you're with a strong soulmate. Or for some of you, you could be dealing with a twin flame. That's what the lover's card can be about. It can also be about um, the strength of two, a partnership, a deep love. Um, it can be about a coming together, a union, the strength of two. Um, for some of you, you're falling in love. And I wouldn't be surprised if if the both of you were falling in love at the same time. Because like I said, this is a strong soulmate or a twin flame for, for a few of you out there. So yeah, coming up looks really good. Like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles there, there's a lot of... There's a, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Lover's card here, there's a lot of love coming up for you and your person as a couple. And things will be going better than you thought ever possible. So, yeah. Now, for those of you who are not dealing with anyone, when you see the lover's card, it could also mean there's a, it's, there's a really, really good opportunity coming for you. Or there's a really good opportunity that, that you're, you're involved in. So, that's what's coming up. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the death card, and it's with the Hierophant. Okay, so the death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will, and such things, they're simply not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you've found in or, or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now the transition 
can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. Now it's with the Hierophant. Now with the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called out for advice or help with some important matters. Your intelligence and your empathy put you, put you at a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know they'll be quick-witted, well-educated. A wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the real deal, a genuine article, a true blue. Yeah, a true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk. They talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So your challenge, Gemini, the, the death card, clarified by the Hierophant. Yeah, so, like I said, things look like they they should be going really well for you coming up. If it's not feeling that way already, it will be soon. Like I said, you've got two great cards here, the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. But now the challenge comes up with the Death card and the Hierophant. So, what I'm getting is that... You might be concerned that um, things are going so well. Yeah, you might. You, it, I'm, what I'm getting is that you might just start to feel like you're just hoping things stay stay good like this because um, for some reason you could be worried that you're going to lose interest with the death card. Death card can be about losing interest. You could be worried about something that you might lose interest if your person doesn't stay loyal, honest, faithful, and true like the Hierophant. Yeah. That's, that's the only way, that's the only thing I'm picking up is that you could be, have some type of concern. For some of you, that's just your way of thinking. Some of you have to think about other possibilities because things are so going so well. So some people feel like if things are going well, then something's about to fall out of the sky and knock them upside your head. So for some of you, you could be feeling like that. You could be having that, that frame of thought. You could be in that mindset. Things are going so well, something's going to happen. So you're thinking, wow, my person, you could be thinking you're going to lose interest or just maybe fall apart if your person isn't loyal, honest, and sincere. Because this is what you want. You want them to be true to you. And it's just going to be a challenge for you if you find out that they're not. But I don't see anything that's saying that they're not. So that's why it's so strange that this death card is here with, with the Hierophant but that's what came out and that's that's the energy that I'm getting I don't get it I don't get that it's anything major I just get that it's a thought and that's how a lot of people think when things are going so well like they are for you coming up your mind is going to take you on a trip to how things could be yeah, if your person isn't true, you're going to lose interest. That's all I could come up with. Yeah. I wish I could give you a better storyline for the challenge, but that's all that, that I could come up with. That's all that came to me. But let's get off of that. Let's move on over. Let's take a look at the outcome. We got the Fool and the King of Cups. Now the Fool card is actually an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting and trust forms the meaning for this card. It's a positive card in the deck, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. 
Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but doing so without any thought whatsoever can be a big mistake. Now to the King of Cups. King of Cups speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. Which holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often you'll indicate a person or a man in your life. Usually when it represents a live person, it could be referring to a very kind and loving individual. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. When you see the King of Cups in a reading, so nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. So your out outcome, Gemini, the Fool, and it's clarified by the King of Cups. So yeah, you're ready to jump right on in. Yeah, any of those negative thoughts that you had uh, when we talked about the challenge, about you possibly losing interest if your person didn't bring the one quality that you want the most, which is, like I said, honesty, loyalty, sincerity, you're going to lose interest because you already know that's, that's what you need out of your person. So it's just a thought that's in the back of your head. So you're releasing th that thought. You're releasing those negative, uh, that negative thinking that you could be feeling about what could happen. And you're jumping right on in. The full card is ready to take a leap of faith. Releasing all negative thoughts. Yeah, so like I said, your person... For most of you, this is the same person that you got out of a storm with. Like I said, they, after you two got out of a storm, they're trying to convince you of something. And for a lot of you, you're impressed. And things will be going really well. This person is going to start to feel like a soulmate, a strong soulmate with the lover's card here. Things are going so well. Yeah, you're you're going for whatever they're whatever they're trying to offer you with the Three of Pentacles. To, they're trying to offer you something. You're jumping right on in there. You're yeah. You're throwing caution to the wind. And this person is ready to offer you love, King of Cups. Like I said, it's all about kindness and compassion and love. They're ready to offer you, they're ready to give you what you want and give you what you need. Yeah, so this outcome is actually really great. And coming up, things look, things look almost perfect, well, yeah, almost perfect. Like I said, the Ten of Cups is perfect. Not the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles is perfect. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. So, you're just short of one for perfection. So, looks really good, Gemini. That's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks?